In this video, we are going to see how the patient's objectives are uncovered and explored during their facelift consultation with Dr. Bonacisi. So what changes are bothering you? During your consultation, Dr. Bonacisi will ask you to point out the age-related changes in your face that you are unhappy with. Well, I've noticed here the skin is starting to get really saggy and same with my neck. It's starting to get a lot looser than it, than it ever used to be. It's important that we hear from you this way. Later on during the consultation, there will be some expectation setting that needs to be done because some age-related changes of the face are addressed with a facelift and some aren't. Often patients who come to see me about facial rejuvenation surgery wonder what parts of the face will be changed by a procedure like a facelift. Typically a facelift will sharpen the jawline and neckline and it's really a lower facial procedure. It doesn't improve areas around the eye or forehead. Now in many cases, those areas do not need rejuvenation. The jawline and neckline can be sharpened on their own without the need for brow lifts or blepharoplasties. However, in many patients who have facial aging in the lower face, they also do have facial aging in the brows and eyelids. Often patients choose to do those procedures at the same time so they can incorporate all of the procedures into one recovery period. I've noticed in about the last four years my face has definitely aged. Uh, the lower part of my face is not as toned as it used to be and that's really starting to cause me some great concern. And I've also noticed that my bottom jaw is starting to become a little more square where it used to be more defined. My cheeks also are a lot flatter than they used to be and I, and I, and I don't like that. And the lines here are, are a little more uh, pronounced as well as um, a little more, a little more wrinkles and a little saggy here as well. Okay. So Della, tell me what you'd like to improve in your neck. I don't like these bands that are here. They, they never used to be so pronounced and also I don't have as good of a neck angle as I used to when I get profile pictures done. Okay. So just mostly saggy skin. Okay. Have you noticed some changes in the upper part of the face or around the eyes? Yes. I've noticed that the skin on my eyes seems to be a lot looser than it used to be. Um, same with over at the side. I've also noticed that there seems to be a few more wrinkles below. And my brows just don't seem to look like they used to. So in addition to finding out our patient's objectives, it's also important to find out what's going on in their life in terms of a timeline. Is this type of procedure they have many weeks off to recover from? Do they have important events that they need to go to uh, within a short period of time? And what's their, what's their work life and social life like in and around the time of their surgery? I predominantly work in an office and I am able to take off at least a week um, and then see how I'm doing and I can certainly take off more time afterwards if that's required. I do have a wedding that's in about a month and I know that I may not look fantastic for that but I'm certainly able to attend it. We've seen what happens during a discussion of patient objectives. In our next video, we'll see how important it is that Dr. Bonacisi perform a comprehensive facial analysis.